I'm Diane Resignola here in Los Angeles at REIT World 2019 May REIT's annual conference. I'm here with Arlen Nordhagen, Chairman and CEO, National Storage Affiliates. Hi Arlen, how are you? Thanks Diane, good to see you. Can you start by talking about the impact supply and demand are having on your portfolio in core markets? Are you seeing a change in new development? Um, well, we are definitely seeing a continuation of new development that's at a faster rate than um, demand growth, but fortunately for us, most of that's occurring in the top 25 MSAs, uh, and we have a, a pretty sizable number of our properties in the MSAs smaller than that, 26 and up, and so uh, we are seeing less impact than many of our peers. But um, we definitely see some new development moving into the smaller markets, and fortunately it's been more at the pace of new demand growth. So that's been helpful for us to, uh, to see that supply and demand in balance, but the penalty is still there from the larger markets. And how would you describe the self-storage acquisition market? Who are the key players and what are the key factors driving the market? The big thing that we've seen as a change recently in acquisitions is that there are a lot of institutional investors that are backing larger private operators in through a joint venture type structure where they're financing them to be aggressive in the acquisition market. And that's ended up with uh, certainly declining cap rates and more competition for properties. Um, and that's pretty much across the board in, in almost all markets. Um, we also see a, an increase in uh, competition from our REIT peers in particular. Extra has be, been uh, more aggressive. Public is more uh, active lately in acquisitions. Uh, maybe less so from uh, Cube and, and uh, Life Storage. But, but it's been a, a competitive market and so we've been focused on really trying to get a lot of off-market deals uh, because th those have been better performers for us. And lastly, can you talk about the CEO transition and what advice you gave Tammy? Yeah, um, as you mentioned on January 1st, I'll be going to executive chairman only and Tammy will be taking over the CEO role. And uh, the thing that, that uh, I've told her basically is, Let's keep more of the same. I mean, our performance has been great. Our strategy has been great. Let's stick to our knitting, keep doing what we've been doing well. And then, you know, from a selfish standpoint, you know, my directive is keep those dividends growing. We've been very successful at increasing our FFO per share, and so we've been able to increase our dividends about 15% a year. Um, I'm not anticipating or expecting her to do that, but I like to see double-digit dividend growth as we go through the next five years per year. So. Arlen, thank you so much for sitting down with us today. Thanks, Diane. For more from REIT World 2019, visit NAREIT's website, REIT.com.